CCTV5's Betsy Webster talked with a local constitutional law expert. She joins us now live. And Betsy, after 2019, a lot of us are familiar with the impeachment process. But what about the 25th Amendment? How would it apply in this situation? All right, you might not know much about it because it's not used very often. It was created after President John F. Kennedy was assassinated. And it has been used since then, some sections of it, to remove a president, or I should say to replace a president temporarily with his consent for medical reasons. But never before has anyone tried to use the section that's being discussed now is completely uncharted territory. UMKC con law professor Alan Rostrum no, says what lawmakers likely had in mind had to do with physical uh, and mental health. The 25th Amendment is there to deal with situations primarily where you, you could have a president who is incapacitated. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. President Trump was not that when extreme supporters of his left his speech and turned a rally into an assault, scaling walls, breaking windows, and storming doors after the president told them. Because you'll never take back our country with weakness. The president, if this were to be invoked, it's not because of a specific mental or physical problem. It's more like something about the fitness of the president to do the job. In an ethical sense. But Rostron says you could also argue the language was made broad for a reason. And if they had wanted to spell out something about medical reasons or that sort of thing, they could have done so, and they didn't. Here's a look at the process needed under the 25th Amendment, Section 4. The vice president and a majority of the cabinet write a letter to House and Senate leaders. The president can then object. At that point, a new letter would need to go to all of Congress. A two-thirds majority would be required, and the vice president would be in charge pending that vote. Impeachment is for wrongdoing as opposed to inability, with an equally vague definition. President Trump was already impeached in 2019 with the required two-thirds vote in the House, but the Senate couldn't come up with the two-thirds needed for removal from office. You never know. Rostron says whether either will happen now is more about politics than law. But the past two days have taught him one thing. Things will happen that you never would have imagined. You know, one argument for using the impeachment process instead of the 25th Amendment, besides the fact that the vice president doesn't have to initiate it, is that if he's removed from office with that, there could be some sort of a, uh, a clause, I should say, a sanction that would say that he couldn't hold office again. But in the end, Rostrum says it really doesn't come out down to whether there's enough time to get it done. It can be done in two weeks. The question is whether there's the political will to get it done and alienate others with just two weeks left to go. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV5 News. Betsy, thank you.